Just taking a quick look back, this is the printed circuit board for version 1 of the current limiting pulse width modulator circuit. You'll notice around the outer edges where I have all my terminals, this is where all the potentiometers connected that were mounted to the front panel of the uh, steel enclosure that I was using for testing. Here's the back side of the perforated board, uh, partially assembled with some of the leads sticking out. You can see uh, the assembly process, how I just allow the leads to come out and I'll bend them out of the way as I'm uh, assembling them one by one and just move them into place after, uh, after I'm ready to solder it together and just trim them to length. Here's the top of the board at that same uh, level of progress that you saw in the last frame with the, the board flipped over and these are, these are the components that are partially assembled to the board at this stage. Here's another view of the board sitting on top of the printed circuit board diagram. You'll notice on the diagram in the background I've placed little check marks on every wire that I've completed in the assembly process that way I don't lose track of where I am. This is another close-up of the physical diagram so that you can see a little bit more clearly where the check marks have been placed and how I keep track of where I am in the assembly process. Here's the board again and you can see in this picture I have assembled R5, C3, R14 and the 7809 voltage regulator circuit. Here's the bottom of the perforated board at that same level of assembly. And once more, but this time now, the circuit board is fully complete. Here's the top view. You now see in the picture R7, R6, R13, R11, R10, uh, and the connection terminals across the top for sense plus, sense minus, and the MOSFET gate output. And for the last still frame, this is the bottom of the completed current regulated pulse width modulator version 2. Well, here it is. This is the completed pulse width modulator printed circuit board, or I should say the perforated circuit board if you will, because it's not really a printed circuit board. You've seen a few pictures along the way. There's the uh, completed traces along the bottom. So now all I'm going to do is take it and insert it into the box, like so. Put the screws in. And there you have it. There's the printed circuit board mounted inside the development enclosure. Now you'll notice that the uh, voltage regulator extends above the the top of the case but when when this thing is assembled I'm going to take the voltage regulator and just fold it down so that it hovers above the integrated circuit chip inside the case and will not touch the uh, the cover and in reality it doesn't matter if it does touch the cover because the tab of the voltage regulator is at ground potential anyway so whether it touches or not is inconsequential um, all that's left now is to mount the power MOSFET to the bottom with heat sink compound, mount my high current handling power terminals to one side of the box, and I have uh, a black and a red binding post for my DC power input to power the electronics of the box on the other side. And then the last step is to drill three holes in the enclosure that will be just opposite the screw adjustments of these three trimmer potentiometers. 
So on the outside of the box, right about here, here, and here, there will be small holes where you'll insert a, uh, an alignment tool or an adjustment tool, just a tiny flat blade screwdriver, and preset the frequency, pulse width duration, and your current limiting. And once that is set, all you do is take a piece of uh, black electrical tape, slap it on top of the holes, unit is sealed. If you ever need to make any adjustments, just pull the tape off and uh, make your adjustments, put the tape back on, and you're done. That's about it for now. I think it's time for bed, and uh, I will pick this up, this project up again tomorrow. Hopefully we can actually have this thing completed, tested, and shipped out to the uh, first recipient that will be getting this. RC uh, is the first recipient to get one of these because he's going to be testing, do, doing quite a bit of testing with it. The second one I'll build for myself and I'll uh, put that one on the EBN cell here and um, run some tests with it. Hopefully get that internal combustion engine running on 100% HHO, of course. That is the goal. That's it for now. Zero Fossil Fuel. Everybody take care. Uh, we'll catch up with you later.